The child welfare system in court, uh, the children in court is what we call it, uh, has a number of players. It has the deputy attorney general who represents the division. It has a law guardian who uh, advocates on behalf of the child. Uh, it has uh, a par parents, they have an attorney who are appointed to represent them. Uh, and uh, there is uh, a CASA volunteer uh, where in, uh, to advocate for the child. The system works when all uh, people are doing their job at the maximum level necessary uh, and doing their job completely. The reality in our world is that at almost no time does everyone do their job exactly the way that it needs to be done. And for me, the true value of CASA is that we have a volunteer, not paid, a volunteer whose, whose heart brought them into this family situation to advocate for this child and who is in a unique position because of the authority the judge gives, that is the weight that the judge gives to their recommendations, that they are in the position actually to cause everyone else to be better. And when someone else drops uh, their, uh, their job and doesn't do their job the way it needs to be done, they're there to advocate for the child, uh, which means helping to hold others accountable. And, and that is really the, the gift that CASA brings to the court process. Those reports uh, uh, had the grand view, the overview. See, CASA volunteer has the opportunity to uh, not only interview the child and hear the child's needs, but also to, to know what the division is doing, what, how the child is doing in school, whether the child has medical needs that need to be met, able to speak with the uh, foster parents, um, the, the, the CASA worker has the whole view of everything. And so uh, because the volunteers are so well trained and are there not because they're paid, but because they volunteer, their hearts lead them to this work. That's why the recommendations are so strong. Um, and I found uh, that sometimes, and this is not at all unusual, uh, that what the CASA was recommending was what I thought should be done. And the only basis that I could say on the record before me was referring to the CASA report, as opposed to self-starting as a judge on something. So um, I really felt, felt uh, that they were important. I uh, am not surprised that statistically 92% of the recommendations are accepted by the judges. Um, and I think that speaks to the soundness uh, of, of those recommendations. I know firsthand, because I did it for 16 of my 20 years, how important the children in court calendar is. I know it is to you. And so I would say, why would you not want to take advantage of every piece of information, of every insight uh, of that, that would be in the child's best interest in, in the process of making your decisions? If indeed our job is to act in the child's best interest, we want to know not only from the division, not only from the law guardian and from the parents, but also from somebody who is unpaid volunteer whose heart leads them to this. That's who we want to know from uh, as to what is in their best interest. Are you required to accept it? No, you are not. Um, but to hear it, it is what is necessary in order to do our job well. Casa for Children and Jay.org. I've lived it and I know how valuable CASAs truly are.